Okay, hello, Gemini's. Hold on, let me turn this down. Out. Okay, hello, Gemini's. How you doing? Okay, I'm doing um, a reading for you guys. We're going to see what's going on in your energy. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member of my channel. Okay. Don't forget to check out that description box below. And click on that Fits Benefits site, you guys. Don't forget to check that out. Um, she has new items on her um, on the website uh, where you could do meal plans. I think it's something concerning meal plans. They have drinks on there if you're on a diet journey. So this is something that will help someone that's on a journey, you know, to lose weight. All right. So check out that um, website. If it if the link below doesn't work, go to my channel page and click on that link. And it will take you straight to that website, you guys, okay? All right. Okay, so I was seeing a caterpillar um, for you guys, all right? It was just inching along. So for some of you guys, things may be going too slow for some of you guys. Um, you want things to go a little bit faster. Um, I'm hearing, be patient. You know, patience is needed. Um, change is coming. Because, you know, caterpillars go through a metamorphosis. They go through change. So change is coming for you guys, you know, for the better. So, you know, you, you just have to be patient. It's not coming as fast as you want it to come. But it's coming. You know, be patient. All right? All right? Change is coming. That's what I heard for y'all. Change is coming. You just have to be patient and wait on it, you know. Some of you, it may have already hit some of you guys, you know. But for those that's waiting for that change, it's coming. Change is coming. That's what I'm hearing. But it's coming slow. You're going to have to be patient. All right? Good things come to those who wait. Okay? All right. So let's um get some cards to drop and see what's going on in your energy. A Gemini's energy. Let me Gemini's energy, please. Ooh, so you got a lot going on. Right on your plate, you know. Gemini's energy. You know, a lot of responsibilities to handle. You may be feeling like you need some help. It's coming. Change is coming, you guys. Be patient. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups. I see Scorpio Cancer energy here. Um, the Seven of Cups, Icy Scorpio Cancer Energy, Water Energy, Six of Cups, Strong Water, 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 Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus Virgo Cap Capricorn Energy, Three of Pentacles, More Earth Energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn Energy for you guys. Okay. Okay, this, this is somebody who has a lot of wishful thinking um, when it comes to you. Um, this person may feel good when they communicate with you or when they're around you. If you're around this person, um, they're, you're unique to this person. There's no other like you to this person. This person, if, if you're not around this person, if this person is somebody coming into you, they're going to come in to you bearing you gifts. So, you know, yeah, somebody may come in just giving you whatever you want. Seven of Cups energy. Six of Cups, they think about you a lot. You're constantly on this person's mind. You know, day and night, they can't get you out of their mind. They just they just think of you. They fantasize about being with you. Um, this may be somebody you may just see as a friend. This is a soulmate um, energy here. So this is a soulmate or maybe, you know, y'all were very close, had a close bond, friendship bond. Oh, some of you, it could be you work with this person. Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person wants to spoil you. If this person ever gets back in, you know, cahoots with you, this person is going to spoil you, give you whatever you want. Okay? Um, they may see themselves being able to have an equal give and take situation with you. Six of Pentacles. Balance. They may see if they're with you, you balance them out. Okay? This person is 
that'll be coming in wanting to work on a partnership of stability with you. All right, where it's, yeah, uh, equal give and take. They see they can have an equal give and take with you concerning working on a partnership of stability. Um, Gemini's energy. Give me Gemini's energy, please. The high priestess is here. They may feel like they have some type of, um, connection with you like a telepathy co connection this person may be a spiritual they could be very intuitive or they could see you as very intuitive um they could be hiding to come in hiding a secret so you need to maybe use your intuition you could be intuitive and you're needing to use your intuition concerning this person because they could be hiding some secret that you need to know of you need to see. You need to see all the red flags concerning this person. Or this person may not be very expressive. This card is also a card of expression. So this person may not be very expressive. They hold a lot in. Okay, as well. This is Pisces Virgo energy. Alright, the full card. Yeah, where they, they want another chance with you. They want to take a leap or risk on you. And they may not be expressing that to you. They may not be expressing any of these things to you. It could be um, feeding you illusions. You know, hiding how they feel. It's when they think about you a lot, they feel good when they're speaking with you or around you. And they're not expressing that. They feel this way about you. Um, Ten of Wands. All right, this person um, is burdened. Maybe it's burdening them that they're holding this in. They're not expressing how they feel. They want to be able to express how they feel, but maybe they don't know how to. And it's burdening them, and they're ready to release the burden. So you might be getting this person coming in, expressing how they feel to you as well. Yeah, with some communication. They're going to come, and they're hoping it is promising. Whatever they say to you, they're hoping it, you know, they it, it brings a positive outcome. Okay, this is the Princess of Sword. So there's some communication coming in from this person. And they're hoping that whatever they say to you, that it's going to come out in a positive um, manner. Okay? They watch you. This person is very observant over you. All right? Um, they may see you as very strong, powerful type person. Um they may be, in your eyes, they could be very charming to you, you know? They could see you maybe being aggressive. For your age, you could be younger than this person. They could be seeing you as very aggressive. Will of Fortune is here, all right? And they're hoping the wheel turns in their favor concerning you with that promising communication. This was the communication card. I was holding it, but I was holding this one up. Okay, this is the um, observant observation card the charming the strength the power energy all right so yeah they're very observant when it comes to you they see you as very strong powerful okay they couldn't they're gonna come in trying to charm you you know as well mm hmm and yep and they're hoping this communication they come in with is uh, promising. It gives them a positive outlook on being able to like move forward with you and working on a partnership of stability. Okay. Yeah, this is how they see you. The nine of the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy here. They see you as very um independent, strong. You know, they see you nurturing yourself. Yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you nurture yourself. They're watching you grow in abundance, grow in success. Okay? So this has them wanting, you know, this has them wanting to be with you, wanting to start a future with you. They can see themselves being abundant with you. They see how strong you are, strong will. You know, they see you, you know, not needing help. You're not asking for any help from this person. Just doing things on your own. Being independent. And Gemini's energy. 
Hey, three of cups. Yeah, this has them wanting to reconcile with you, reunite with you. This has them wanting to reunite. Three of cups energy. Be careful because that three of cups could be a third party situation. Use your intuition because that, that could also be a secret to hide. Where this person may have you in a third party situation if they're entangled with someone else. Or if you're dealing with this person, they have they may have you in a third party because there's a three of pentacles on the table and a three of cups. So they could have you in a three of um a third party situation if you're in cahoots with this person at this time. Okay, if this is somebody trying to come into you, be aware, use your intuition. Look out for those red flags. Hey, Gemini. Hey, Gemini's energy. Okay, show me Gemini's energy for you. Okay, the sun card. Yeah, you make this person happy. But this is the card of illumination. So think something may be illuminated to you. Okay, so use your intuition. There may be something you need to see. The sun card. That you make this person happy. All right. King of Cups. Yeah, they hold a lot of emotions for you. Um, they're going to come in seeking um, um, affections as well. All right. The hangman is here. Hold off on giving this person anything. Hold off. When they come in seeking those affections, hold off. Until you see what you need to see concerning stuff. Because it's something that needs to be illuminated, okay? Okay? There's a secret here. Something they're holding from you. And it's burdening them that they're hiding this. So, before you move forward and give this person any affections, anything intimate, you need to hang tight. You know, don't move forward with it. Okay? Take your time giving this person any affections. You see what you need to see, what they're hiding. Okay, the four of wands. You know, we know what this card is. This person could be married. Four of wands is here. All right, and you don't want to get yourself into anything where they throw you off balance. Look how balanced this person is. This may be you. You may have your balance at this time. You don't want this person throwing you off balance, okay? Okay, so you may find out that this person is married for a while. Okay, nine of wands. You don't want them putting you through a mental and physical struggle. Maybe you just came out of a, a mental and physical struggle not too long ago. You don't want to go back into that energy. All right. Okay, and this person could be going through a struggle in their marriage if they're married. Okay, Gemini is energy. All right, and this is what they do. You know, they have a lot of romantic thoughts when it comes to you. All right, the Prince of Cups. They have a lot of romantic thoughts when it comes to you. They find they want a success with being able to move forward with you. They they do. That's what they think about. Okay, those romantic thoughts about having a success with you. Um, they see you as very kind, very gentle type person or this could be their energy they could be very kind very gentle when dealing with you okay or if this is you this is how why they want to come in and offer you a cup okay this has them wanting it to come in and offer you a cup all right and this is a decision they're trying to make all right there's a decision on what to say to you how to offer to you maybe how to get out of a situation so they can come in and offer you a cup, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Gemini. You have somebody coming in with an offer. But you need to hold off. They're coming in for some affections and with an offer. But you need to hold off until you see what you need to see concerning this person. Because they could be married, all right? All right, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you like to be a member of my channel. Um, new viewers, subscribe. I'd like to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to check out that Fitz Benefit site in the link below. If the link below doesn't work, go to my 
channel page and click on that link. All right, you guys. All right. Good luck in this situation. And you guys have a blessed Sunday. Have a blessed week ahead. All right. Be good.